name is Michelle. Behind the camera is my fantastic husband Richard from Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. And we have yet another haul for you. Kiki! This is a Walmart haul, continuation from the last one that you just saw. Um, I missed a few random items, so I'm going to get those out of the way. Food item wise, hubby's on a Skittles kick. I don't know. It's not the biggest one I could have gotten. It's pretty daggone big. Not the biggest one. Anyway, Skittles, and it's the OG Skittles. It's not like the tropical or anything like that. I actually prefer the tropical ones. Yeah. He has been itching, begging, crying, whining on the floor, throwing a fit, uh, stomping yeah, his right. feet, begging me to get this movie. Yeah. So I said, fine. Right in the middle, it was so embarrassing, guys. Right in the middle of Walmart. He like stomped his little fit. I'm not going home if you don't get this for me right now. And I held my breath until I passed out. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was. Anyway, uh, it's the Bill and Ted Face the Music. Now, is this the only sequel? So there's only two of these? No, no, no. This That's the third one. It's First third you had one. Bill and okay, Ted, can... and then you had Bogus Journey, and now you got Face the Music. <laughs> I feel dumber just holding the case. <laughs> these dudes are awesome, man. Anyway, he now has his movie, so... There's that. A monthly, per well not monthly, but bi-monthly probably purchase we do is baby powder. Um, when you're a big bitch, you need powder. That's all I gotta say. An amazing item we found on clearance. If you say if so. If I could have gone back and spent $5 and bought a ton of these, I would have. Is some hand sanitizer. It is three fluid ounces of the Keep Clean brand. Uh, this one is Scent Theory. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I bought three with the aloe. I don't know why I did it this way. And one is just plain. I am stoked. You guys, I needed more hand sanitizer. Like I need a hole in my freaking head. But I couldn't resist. And it was really hard to stop at four. Let me tell you. I I, I was on the struggle bus getting out of that aisle. I'm not going to lie. Um, another item we bought uh, that, well... Quite frankly, it threw me for a whammy loop. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie. Speaking of, did you give me the receipt for this? Yes, I did. Okay. It's in my stacks I got to take care of. Um, is a new Blu-ray player. Our Blu-ray player that we've had for probably... Kaput. Three or four years. Basically kaput. It is actually in this box right now. Um, I know in the past they've had DVD slash Blu-ray players for like $25, $30. Apparently that is no longer a thing. These cheap ones are now $60. That's right, folks. 60. Count them. 1 through 60. $1 bills that I did not have in the budget for the month. Now I have to figure out where it's coming from. And I know somebody's going to say, well, you know, you really don't have to have a Blu-ray player. Um, well, yeah, we kind of do. We don't have cable out here. We don't have internet out here. Don't have TV at all. Don't have TV at all. There's no antenna out here. So this is how, this is 99% of Hubby's entertainment when he's not out in the woods tromping around, he's watching movies. So I watch them too, not as much as he does because I tend to be on my phone more playing. I do have Hulu stuff on my phone, but he doesn't watch that stuff. And my phone is this little. He likes a TV that's this big. Really, we like our TV that's this big, but I'm not looking that up out here. So we need as a far new as technology goes, I want a freaking Blu-ray player. Yes. <sighs> couldn't be November. Couldn't be I was January. Shocked too. I was shocked. I'm just. Too. But by the same token, this was one of two. They only had two left at the sixty dollars price, right? And and they said that they and were discontinuing they're them. Discontinuing them. I mean, like I don't know if he meant. I think he just the meant the brands cheaper ones. or the Blu-ray itself. I, I think he just meant the cheaper ones. Well, cheaper, but, sixty freaking dollars. Yeah, the next price up was like one hundred and twenty. So, yeah, that happened. And we all know why. Well, we're not going there. So there's that. Um, with all of the crafting that I have been doing, I was about out of glue sticks. I was down to three. I was literally... <laughs> last night I was working on a project. <laughs> I pulled out my glue gun and I'm looking at my little baggie of glue sticks. And I have three in there and I'm like, man, is this going to be enough for this project? This project the tiniest little things that I was doing. It required very minimal glue. But I was still had like a panic attack. So I bought some regular glue sticks today. I did buy some 
Gorilla equivalent of super glue. Um, well, actually, call it, they do call it super glue, but I bought the gel kind. I like this for um, a stronger hold that I can't use as much. Anyway, I like to do both. I do a combination of both. Just remember they don't play well together, so you can't mix them. You put super glue in the one spot and the hot glue in the other spot. You hold it down for the super glue to cool or for the hot glue to cool. And then when the super glue sets up, which really does take about an hour for it to fully set up, then you've got a really strong hold and you don't have to worry about falling apart so well. So I wanted, I wanted to get some of that. Hubby needed some E6000. What he doesn't know is Wifey Poo might, might use some of this too. Use as much as you want. I love E6000, but it doesn't hold things the way I think the super glue does. So there's that. I also, in the process of all of this crafting, have used up basically all of my brown and red paints. So, I did buy some of the Waverly chalk paint. None of them have the little color thingy on top, so I don't know what color this is to tell you, other than it looks red. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, you guys. I wish I could tell you exactly what color it is, but none of them have the the color tag on top and it doesn't say on the front of it. It is matte finish but that's all it says. Now I did buy two of the Apple Barrel um, where did you go? I bought two of the red. Okay no I bought one of the brown, the Nutmeg Brown in Apple Barrel. I love this color. I also bought one of the Chestnut in Apple Barrel and then I bought two of the Barn Red in Apple Barrel. These have been my colors of choice for this uh, holiday season. All of my uh, farm and homey decor has been based on that color scheme and I have loved it. It has worked out very well. I found two sets of window clings. I was really excited too. It was kind of funny. And now I don't even know if I have the uh, boards left, my blanks, for me to use them on because I can't remember what I've done. Anyway, I don't care. I bought them anyway and I can figure that part out later, right? The first one is this one that has uh, the Santa Clauses and the vintage look. It says Merry Christmas and December 25th. So, so cute. I love the December 25th up here. I just, I like the, the way it's written. I don't know. I'm weird. I know. But it has a very vintage feel to me and I really like that. And as you guys just got a glimpse of, I found the Christmas trees, uh, fresh cut trees with the red truck. I looked for this a few weeks ago and they didn't have it, so they, they probably they must have gotten more in. I don't know. I don't care. I found it. I'm happy. Yay! 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 Um, I talked in another video about how I am re-gifting, gifting back a lantern that my mom, she was going to get rid of it. She didn't like it anymore. But she said she didn't like it because of the color that, that was in it. But I know she's really into lanterns right now. So I'm going to go take it and redo it. So I needed some stuff, some foliage and some greeneries. So I got these frosted berries and I'm only, this was 97 cents. I'm going to need like very minimal pieces of this. So I'll be able to use it on a lot of different items. I'm so stoked about that because they didn't have those either. That was something else that they didn't have and now they do. Um, I bought this little set of poinsettias, little four pieces of poinsettias. I don't care for poinsettias, not my thing, but my mom does, because my mom's got a weird taste, just saying, I'm just kidding, my mom's got a very traditional taste. Um, these great big huge berries, and they, 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 it says holiday bush on it, it's kind of funny. When they rang up, it said what kind of berries they were, but I don't remember what it said now. And I'm kind of mad, because I wanted to tell you guys, and now I don't remember. Do you know what kind of berries these are? They kind of look like hawthorn berries. No. Hey, if you guys know what they are, tell me down in the comments. Can they see them really good? Yes. That's like a lot too. But this was like three, three twenty-seven for this whole thing, which I still didn't think was bad, by the way, because that's a lot of stuff there to have. And then because that's an awful lot of red, right? Hey, 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 hey! We gotta brighten that up, and I know my mom loves this stuff. She gets it every year, so I'm going to be using some of this in that lantern. And another item we found, my mom has been on the lookout for them, had not been able to find them. Um, and I really tied this back because I was so afraid these things were going to like scatter all over the van and we would never find them. 
So hold on as I dig this knot out. There we go. Uh, are these ornaments that you can, you make, right? Like you stuff things in them. You stuff stuff in them. So she asked for 10, but I kind of asked her like on the spot and she was just trying to do a quick count. So we did buy her a baker's dozen just to be sure she had what she needed. And then if she doesn't need those extras, I have a thought on what I can do with a couple. So that's fine. And then last but not least, I'm covered in glittery stuff. I finally found something I can use, you guys. It's a Christmas tray. It's a Christmas tray. It's a Christmas tray. Sorry. I got a little, little excited there for a minute. And you guys are going to watch me open this. I have not seen... Uh, this out of the box. They did not have one set up in the store. It was $16. It's a three foot green tree with a burlap base. Not entirely what I was looking for, but for $16, I'm going to make it what I was looking for. And it was a price I was willing to spend. And when we get moved into Oh my god, that's heavy. Ow. Ooh. When we get moved into our home and next Christmas, I will have a small tree for my craft room or if we have a den for our den or whatever. But this is it. The branches, the uh, it's short branched. It's not the long needles. You know, it doesn't look like those big long needles. Obviously, I have a lot of fluffing to do. But, and it's got the burlap base. It's really heavy, you guys. It's got a plastic bowl around it. I don't know if I'll leave this like this or if I'll do something else to it. Um, but this part right here, excuse me, Mr. E6000 glue. This is what I'm excited about. It's supposed to look sparse and thin, which is what I wanted for my farmhouse Christmas style. Charlie Brown. Not Charlie Brown thin. That's the difference. There is a difference in that, by the way. That's not quite right, but that's a good thought. You're thinking could. Anyway, so, uh, like I said, I've got a lot of work to do on it. And, I don't know, maybe you guys will be with me when I do this. I don't know. All I know is, I have other plans for tonight, and it's not this guy, even though I'm super excited about him. Ooh. I had to eat 6,000 that right there. That seems a little sketchy. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, he's shaking his head at me back there. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.